It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from the North Beer Advent Calendar to show you. And it's day number 15. I've really enjoyed this Advent Calendar. It's been kind of, the, the beer quality has been terrific. Uh, there's been just some really good, solid, decent, drinkable brews. In the past, I've done some beer Advent Calendars this time of year. They've been from a selection of different breweries, um, a variety of beer from all over, kind of like one was from Germany, one was from the UK and it had some fantastic beers in. This one though, and I like to change things up every year to see what works and what doesn't work. So I've chosen this year one brewery one brewery and that is North Brewing Company but the beer has been fantastic it really has so door number 15 let's get it out let's see what we got Ooh. ah and now this is a very very good beer um, I think I've reviewed this this year I think this has been a beer that I've drank in 20 23 on the channel if i'm wrong if i'm wrong because the years seem to go by like months when you get to my age uh, if i reviewed this in 2022 or 2021 please comment in the comments box but i'm sure i'm pretty sure i've done this this year 2023 6.9 percent abv it's an ipa 440 milliliter can what I love about these things is that, is that when you get home from work, you've got a can of beer in December to open. So you watch your kids or your wife or whatever open the chocolates in the morning and then you off, go off to work and then by the time you come back, you get to open up your calendar after the hard day slog. That's what I love about a beer advent calendar. Right, without further ado, And all of that, do you know what really annoys me in the, in the world we live in today? The whole school night thing. Oh, drinking on a school night. That really does get up my nose a little bit because when my dad was young, when I was young, growing up, it never mattered what night of the week you drank. In fact, there were people in work having a half or a pint with their lunch. It was the normal thing to do, but now it's like, it's, it's rained back and it's rained back to, you know, uh, ooh, drinking on a school night. You've got an excuse now to drink on a school night because you've got a beer advent calendar to get through. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Three finger, white head, good levels of carbonation, straw coloured, hazy IPA. Looks very, very good. Good head retention, good look to the beer. Let's get the aroma. Mm. Floral, tropical. Slightly dry, slightly spicy. Grapefruit. Passion fruit. Orange peel. Almost like a hint of like a really good aftershave in there. In the greatest of respects. When you smell a really good aftershave or a perfume, it's got a hint of that lovely kind of quality perfume or aftershave about it. it smells great. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, now. What was that? 
That was beer number 15. Beer number 14 was Future Skies. The beer that caused a lot of controversy on the channel 18 months ago. So beer number 13 was Future Skies. And uh, 14 was Future Skies, sorry. Um, I drank that and I still wasn't 100% convinced by it. I give it a 6 out of 10. Um, but this, this is, this is my style of IPA. This is right up my street. Lots of grapefruit, lots of orange peel, lots of flavour. Tastes absolutely fantastic, it really does. Just a really good, solid, more than solid, let me take that back, an exceptional IPA. I remember loving this beer when I had it this year. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was 2023. It is just as good now. Full of fantastic tropical fruit flavours, pineapple, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange, quite pithy if you like. That's the reason why I'm liking it. It's got quite a, like you're biting on orange peel or you're biting on grapefruit peel or lemon. It's very pithy, it's very, very lovely in that way. Very clean, clinical, crisp, drinkable, refreshing. But it has that kind of little oaty creaminess that comes through as well. A lovely oaty creaminess that just gives the beer a little bit of mouthfeel. It's an exceptional beer, this. Exceptional. Um, and it just proves, doesn't it? I don't think we're supposed to like everything in life, are we? I think we're allowed to say, you know, I think the future skies is not for me. But the transmission is definitely for me. And it, they both come from the same brewery. They're both IPAs. So East Coast meets West Coast in this soft and juicy IPA with deep tropical flavour and crisp pine bitterness. 6.9% ABV. Ingredients are water, barley, wheat, hops and yeast. Absolutely love it. Oh. Does anybody want a discount? I've just seen this. Does anybody want a 30% off on the North Brewing Company website? If you want to, scan that um, QR code. Scan that QR code, you can have 30% off. There we are, I didn't even see that. That's a nice little Brucey bonus, isn't it? Rating for North Brewing Company's Transmission IPA. Great head retention, great look to the beer. This is my style of IPA. Pithy, grapefruity, orange peel like. A little bit of sweetness, a little bit of bitterness. Fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Great beer. I can't remember what I gave it before, um, even though it was this year. Um, but I'm gonna say a stone that grows nine out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.